Hi, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel and today I want to share with you the top 10 series that I would like to either read fully and complete or at least catch up on with whatever is published currently or going to be published this year. Um, first things first, I recently purchased a huge order from Queen Bee Reads on her Etsy shop, and this is one of the lovely sweatshirts that I got. Um, not that I really need a sweatshirt today because it's like in the 40s in Chicago, which is like shorts and t-shirt weather. Um, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, I still need a sweatshirt just because I get cold easily, but I like being super comfy, so yeah. Um, I'll leave a link to her shop down below. I highly recommend it. Now that that's out of the way, um, let's get to the series that I want to read in 2021. We are going to start off with the historical romance series that I want to read fully in 2021. Um, all of the, the, all four of these series are out and able to be read completely, so I want to do that. Um, the first series I'd like to conquer is the Hathaway series by Lisa Kleypas, and, um, this is the first book in the series. I recently read this in January. And I really, really liked it. I believe this is a five book series. I have all of them except for book two. So I have to grab book two, but I'm super excited to dive back into this world. I really, really liked this first one and I'm excited to see where the Hathaways take me. The next series that I would like to finish in 2021 is the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn and I am waiting on two more books um, to come in since you know they got super popular and flew off the shelves. I think they had to do more printings if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think this is the 10th printing. So I don't know if that is the latest print out there, but um, I'm waiting on two more. Book two, which I already read, and book three, which is the next book that I have to read. So when book three comes in, I'll start tackling this series again. Um, I really, I liked book one, which was The Duke and I, and I really liked The I Count Who Loved Me, which was book two. So I'm excited to move on to this series. Almost almost pulled a Dana there and dropped my book. The next series that I would like to read is the Bastion Club series by Stephanie Lawrence. I believe there is seven books in this series and I believe I have all seven of them. So I can start on this one real soon. The last historical romance series that I would like to read in full in 2021 is the Maiden Lane series by Elizabeth Hoyt and there are 12 books in this series and I have all 12 so I can start that you know now. Um, I should have started it in January and just read one per month but you know hindsight is always 2020. <laughs> Um, so that's the histor- those are the historical romance n series that I'd like to read completely in 2021. Now we're gonna go to paranormal fantasy and a little bit of YA fantasy, but everything that I'm reading will have some sort of romance intertwined in there. Um, so I wanted to read this series completely in 2020. It didn't happen. Um, so I'm making it a goal to read it in 2021 and that is the Immortals After Dark series by Cressley Cole. There are so many books 
so many books in this series. I have no idea how many. I, I, 17, maybe 15. I don't know. There's a lot. I have a, f a lot of them. Um, not, I don't have the full series yet in physical copy, but this is the third one, I believe. And this is actually the one that I'm on, um, that I have to read next. Yeah, this is the book three, and this series is just like a wild ride. It's so much fun, and there are so many different kinds of paranormal creatures within this series, and I just, I love it so much. It, they're totally bonkers books, but they're so much fun. So I'm excited to finish this series this year, and then after I read each book, I want to listen to the Faded Mates podcast. I've been trying to catch up on those and I just, I have failed. <laughs> the next series that I would like to catch up with is um, an indie published series and that is the Hades and Persephone series by Scarlet St. Clair. Uh, Touch of Darkness is book one. I read this last July or August. I'm probably going to do a reread of it and then read A Touch of Ruin, which is book two. Book three comes out, I want to say in like May, maybe. I believe the third book is called A Touch of Malice. A little pre no oh, that's bonus content it comes out i think in the first half of 2021 um so this is like one of my favorite hades and persephone retellings and i really really liked this this was like a four and a half star book read for me it could possibly even be a five star on a reread um and then A Touch of Ruin, which is a little bit chunkier than the first book. I'm super excited. I have no idea what is going to happen in book two. Book one wrapped up, I think, fairly decently as to where I don't think you need... Oh, maybe. I don't remember. Um... So book three comes out, I want to, I want, for some reason I want to say May. Um, it could be March, but I want to say it's May. I could be completely wrong and it could be like August. Who knows? Um, there's also another book, I don't remember what it's called, which is A Touch of Darkness told in Hades perspective. It's got a different title. And I want to grab that one because I'm really intrigued with that because I love Hades. Hades is like one of my all-time favorite characters in general. Um, so I want to catch up and then finish. I, I don't know if it's a trilogy or if there's going to be more books after book three, but book three is coming out this year and I want to read it. So now we're moving into like the YA fantasy slash paranormal romances and another series that I would like to catch up and finish because I believe book four is being published this year and I think it's the last book in this series um, but that is the Casket Girls series by Alice Arden. I have the first two. I still have to pick up the third book. These are chunkier books, but they're so atmospheric and so much fun. And I just, I really, I really, really loved this book when I read it in 2019, I believe. I think it was like October of 2019 that I read this. And I'm super excited to uh, get back into this world. It takes place in New Orleans. In New Orleans. There's witches and vampires and it's just, it's a boatload of fun. So I want to catch up and then finish this series. I don't know when book four comes out, but I know it comes out this year. 
So another series that I want to catch up and finish in 2021 because books three and four are being published in 2021. Anyways, so this series started out last April and then book two got pushed ahead of schedule and was published in September of last year. I believe, it, yeah, September of last year. And then book three comes out in March. And then book four, I want to say, comes out in September of this year. But I know all four books will be fully published by the end of this year. And that is the Crave series by Tracy Wolf. I read and loved this book last April. I attempted to start this last September and I just I got into a really bad reading and writing funk last year at the end of last year which where I just I didn't do a whole lot um reading or writing and um this one's a chunker which is crazy because this one was already a chunker at more than 500 pages this one is gotta be well over 600 Okay, so the end of book two ends at 663 pages, and then there's like a couple bonus scenes in Hudson's point of view, which brings the total page count to 684. So this is almost a 700 page book, and this is book two. I think if I read reviews, it does leave on some sort of cliffhanger just like this one, but I mean, that's Sophie <laughs> for being so loud. Sorry, my puppy's in here. Um, I mean, isn't that, don't knock over my camera. Here, come here, sit down. Come sit down. You're okay, sit. Just be careful of the camera. There you go, good girl. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. Cliffhangers. Um, isn't that how series goes? Like, continuous series, not like, you know, different characters having their own book, like how most historical romances are. Um, so, yeah. So, by the end of 2021, all four books in this series should be published, and I'm super excited Another series I would like to complete in 2021 is a young adult fantasy romance, and that is a Curse So Dark and Lonely series. Um, Curse So Dark and Lonely I read last March. Absolutely loved it. I don't have a physical copy of it yet because I read it on my Kindle, um, but I did snag this hardcover when it was on sale for like eight bucks or something like that. And I'm super excited to start this one because book one kind of left in a slight hang uh, hangover <sighs> cliffhanger. <laughs> and then the third book, which I think is the final book, just released, I think, January or even maybe it was February. I don't know, but it just released recently. And... I'm super excited to read and finish this series. I just, ugh, I loved it. The first book is like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. We all know how much I love my Beauty and the Beast retellings. And I'm just, I need to know what happens next. No, don't eat the paper that's on the floor. It's just a piece of paper. My dog loves paper products. She will eat anything to deal with paper. Come on. No, you're moving my camera. Sophie, say hi. Say hi. Okay, you can't really see her. Stop moving my camera. Either lay down next to me or, or go somewhere else. Okay, the tenth and final series that I would like to finish is 
The tenth and final series that I would like to finish in 2021 is the Folk of the Air, Folk of the Air. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Folk of the Air. I think that's what the series title or the series is called. Um, the first book was Cruel Prince. Second book was The Wicked King. Loved both of those books. Um, it's kind of a fantasy romance. Um, it's very light on the romance and honestly, I'm not quite sold on the romance yet, but I do really like the storyline. Um, so this is the third and final book in the series and I got it when it came out, which I think was in December of 2019. Cause that's what my book of the month stamp says. And... I haven't finished it yet. I have a terrible thing of starting series and then not finishing it because I don't want them to finish. But I want to make it a goal in 2021 to finish series. And these are the top 10 that I want to finish in 2021. Granted, one, two, Okay, only two of them would be, like, starting and finishing in 2021. The rest I at least have started the series. Well, no, three, because I did read the first Hathaway's book in 2021. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, please leave comments down below letting me know what series you want to finish and complete in 2021. Have you read any of these? Did you like any of them? Um, let's have a discussion down below. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really does help. And if you aren't a subscriber and you would like to subscribe, I'd really truly appreciate that and love you forever for it. Um, but until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!